Hello there. Uh, so this is part two of our tutorial, and uh, we're making this part here. Uh, so yeah, we have made our pattern. You can see how it looks. I think it looks good. Uh, we just need to make it wide enough uh, to cover the entire surface area we're going to use here. So I'm just going to increase uh, the count here. Uh, you know what? Before I do that, uh, because uh, the curve, uh, we're using curves here, and uh, we can't deform curves in the same way uh, that we can deform meshes into the shape. So what I'm going to do, I need to apply these modifiers uh, so that, but uh, if you try applying the array modifier right now, you see that uh, you get an error. So uh, when you're using curves, you can't apply uh, the modifier. So I need to first convert this into a mesh. Uh, so, and uh, before I do that, I want to first reduce uh, the polygon count of this of this uh, yeah of this pattern uh, so that we don't have a lot of polygons here as you can see this is going to repeat quite a lot and uh, it will create a very dense mesh so I'm going to reduce first of all the depth uh, resolution and something like I think yeah that will be okay uh, coupled with the smooth shading and the material it won't show uh, the facets uh, that uh, can uh, it won't show that it's too low poly so and also now we just need to reduce this re resolution here uh, because it's too much and for that we just have to reduce uh, the resolution preview you uh, that is too low so let's try let's see let's see I think there is okay and then we can apply or oh, we can convert this to a uh, to mesh what I usually like to do is uh, before I even convert this let me first undo I make a copy of this so that a backup copy so that in in case I make any mistakes I can always revert to that so uh, then uh, we can convert this to a mesh and now bring back our modifiers so the array and uh, you can see we have gaps here. If you just turn on the match, you should remove that. Uh, we can use, say, like uh, 10, and then add another array for the y axis 10. Uh, still, this is not uh, large enough. Make sure you have the match saved. I'm going to scale this down and uh, increase uh, the count to 40 and 40. This might actually be too much, but uh, we'll see. And uh, then we need another shape. Uh, actually, I can, can, you can also make a, a backup copy here, but uh, because my PC won't handle that many polygon count, I'm just going to go with this, and uh, hopefully I don't make any mistakes. So after you do make the array, we're going to apply uh, the those modifiers. Now we need to add uh, the shape we're going to, mo to use to morph uh, this here. So uh, first reset the origin to geometry so that it's in the center. And then let's add a circle. And uh, make sure that it's also in the center of our mesh. So shift S selection to cursor, scale it up. And uh, make sure it doesn't go outside the uh, the square, that square, and uh, something like that. Then go to edit mode, hit F to fill it in, and uh, start inserting it in so that it has some polygons like that. Maybe add another loop there. Now what we're going to do is uh, first trim out uh, the excess uh, parts of excess uh, yeah, gauges you see here. So for that, I'll just first extrude this and then let me turn on random colors here. And then add the Boolean modifier. Select this as the Boolean object. And I change the operation to intersect. And then apply. Now, 
we have that. We don't need this volume, so I can delete that, and now we, we are remaining with that. So this is what we're going to use to deform this, and uh, since uh, they take up the same shape, uh, it will make it even easier. I may run into these uh, kind of leftover vertices. You can delete those. Uh, another mistake I made is that uh, this polygon count is really high, and uh, I should have reduced it by uh, deleting some of the vertices that are not going to be visible to the camera, uh, like these bottom vertices, and that should uh, kind of reduce on the CPU usage or kind of yeah increase I uh, kind of relieve some of the resources we are using here but uh, yeah you can do that if you want but uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, select this this mesh and add a simple a surface deform and select uh, this object as your as your target and uh, bind uh, that I've already talked about uh, surface deformers in uh, uh, other blender daily tips you can search for that and uh, now if we move or edit this when we move what says it deforms uh, the surface we have so for this top part here what we're going to do is uh, first select this center part and increase uh, the selection to a size we want and uh, maybe turn on proportional editing and we can push this up like this and I think are uh, the gap between our object and our our deformer and our objects is a bit too small it's too big so I'm just going to first unbind and uh, move this nearly in the middle there so that the deformation works better and uh, now Bind again. And uh, I can select the outer ring first, turn on proportional editing, and start. Let me make sure proportional editing is on. So this is how you would go about editing this, but uh, my piece is really, really blurry uh, because I forgot to delete uh, the bottom vertices and I'm recording. So it's taking up a lot of, uh, it's kind of slowing down my PC, uh, but uh, you just have to, to work with uh, these vertices around. And you can see you're also getting that kind of carving a pattern uh, there so you can even hide this and uh, start working on this uh, but make sure that uh, the bind modifier uh, the simple deform modifier is activated as you edit this and you can see any changes you make to this will be applied to this uh, I'm not going to create the entire shape you can just go and uh, watch my uh, this video uh, to see how I completed but uh, this was, was basically moving these vertices around until I got uh, the shape I wanted here uh, right now because I'm recording my piece is really really laggy and I can barely do anything so uh, so when you move these around you will finally get to the shape I want here and uh, uh, if, what I did here in this here you can see after I made that shape I also duplicated this mirror lead down. Where is this? Yeah. And uh, use the boolean to cut off uh, the top part here so that I don't have extra polygons uh, that I don't need, you can see here. And uh, what I was talking about is that uh, if you look at these here, you can see the inside. Uh, the inside parts don't have uh, the, the faces. Uh, I deleted them to reduce on the polygon count and uh, make my PC uh, less sluggy. Yeah, so you can just go and watch uh, that process on uh, this tutorial and how to make the rest of uh, the microphone. Yeah, thank you for watching.